hi guys it's good to be back sharing with you whenever i'm sharing with you i'm in one of my happy place so i hope that you guys are enjoying the videos and you're learning from the content that i am putting out on the channel i hope you're looking forward to having a wonderful weekend now in the last video i uploaded i did a bit of a color lesson with the color wheel and i used the bouquet we did two floral arrangements and they were kind of the um learning tool for the color lesson so you can check that out and see more give get more detail about the lesson that we learned i actually did the floral arrangement in a mason jar but the mason jar can be hung and so i promised that i would show you in another video how i did this little project to get the hanging accoutrement on the <laughs> the mason jar look the floral arrangement is actually still looking very fresh so the point is if you have something like this picture a series of floral arrangement along a path on um like uh you know those hooks what do you call it i think they're called shepherd's hooks in the garden a series of them lining a pathway that would be lovely for any special occasion like a wedding right or you could even hang them on the walls like along a hallway and i think that would be make a lovely statement you would though have to make sure you hang them low enough that the eye will hit the flowers and not the bottom of the jar where the water and the stems are that is why i will be showing you how to do this little project because i think it can be very handy for decorating and decorating a special occasion so we need our jar this is a mason jar i do have a mason jar here and i have another jar now you don't need mason jar you can just use any lovely clean jar as for me i save a ton of jars that i get jams or jellies or pickles if they are a good size i save them and actually i do have a video i link it for you that shows you how to get the sticky stubborn labels of the jars so one mason jar and one regular jar and then you will need craft wire now you may be wondering what gauge wire i'm not quite sure i don't remember what gauge wire this is because i've had it for a little bit and this one is a uh, finer wire but one thing you need to learn about um wire and their gauge the higher the number is the thinner the wire will be because the gauge speaks to the thickness of the wire so the higher the number the thinner the wire will be the lower the number the thicker the wire will be in this instance what you want to do is get wire that will be easy to cut with your trusty little tool that you will need that can cut wire and that's flexible enough to work with to do craft with right and so what we'll be doing is using the wire to make a little thingy like this i don't know if you can see it but we're not gonna make it outside of the jar we're gonna make it on the neck of the jar because it needs to be tight enough so that when you hang your floral arrangement this thing does not slip off the neck of the jar so um what we will do is we can do it two ways right and so i'm gonna do the two ways that we can do it the first thing we need to do is get a piece of wire depending on 
the size of the neck of the jar know how you want your hanger the section that you're hanging to be right and so if i do this i gotta make sure too that i have enough extra wire left over so i can actually you know what let me take you closer so you can see what's going on here right so on this side we have to make sure we have enough wire to securely wrap around the wire that will be going up and over and so that's enough for me what i'll then do is decide on how high i want my hanger to be and then what i'm gonna do is push it through here and actually bend it around to secure it in place i think this is high enough and this is long enough to help to secure it in place so then i am going to cut my wire i don't work with gloves doing this because then i find i can't use my fingers properly when i have gloves on so i just use my bare hands but if gloves work for you then go ahead and wear the gloves so we'll take leave a long part here hanging out and then we'll take this part and we will tightly secure the wire around the neck of the jar then i'm going to bend this over and then push it under the other side the glass is sleek and it's very tight so it might take a little doing but it's just fig fiddle with it until you get it through from the top down there we go so it's through now and then i'm going to take a little piece here and i'm going to go ahead and wrap it around securely just make sure you get a wire that's thick enough but um not too thin so that when you hang your um flowers arrangement it's gonna break right it needs to be strong enough the wire needs to be strong enough so there we go we can then go ahead put water in this and make our flowers arrangement and go ahead and line our path or our hallway with pretty flowers for our occasion now the other way to do this is pretty similar but what we want to do first is to get a piece of wire that we will secure around the neck of the jar so i just cut a piece of wire here now go ahead and secure it just wrap it around each end just wrap it around to secure it and make sure that it is twist 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 make sure that it's tight enough so that it's not going to slip off but give it a little play because the next thing we're going to do okay so now this is done we decide how tall we want our hanger to be and we get excess so that we can secure it to the wire that we have tied around the neck of the jar and i think this is good enough and so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna push this through on the one side here it's pretty tight so just like the other one you just fiddle with it a little bit you get it through and you get your piece through 
so you can go ahead and twist around the longer piece of the wire and secure it in place there we go and now we have our little hanging jar the first way and the second way which way do you prefer i hope you try this little project and it doesn't have to be a special occasion that you use it you can use it in your own home right because it doesn't have to be hung it can just sit nicely on your table please leave your comments below let me know your thoughts what do you think of this little project thank you so much for watching liking and sharing now if you have been following the channel along watching the videos and coming back or even if this is your first time here please go ahead and give us a subscription right subscribe make that commitment and hit that subscription button and remember to hit the notification bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. Now, thanks for spending the time with me. You take care now. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, wait, before you go, guys, check this out. I did this a while back and I promised myself that I would do a lesson to show you guys how I did this. So stay tuned. I definitely will do a video to show you how to do it. It's pretty neat.